people get ready to go into this pilot I'm in Santa Rosa this is my video for the 411 channel um, our topic this week is and I, do you see I, I hope you got it up <laughs> I have no way to rip it man when I'm over the road I can't rip your video so I sent uh, we have one person I don't it, it's it's kind of confusing that you can run more than one channel so um, DCI jams has this video but it, it's on Facebook guys I'm sorry I know some of you guys don't use Facebook um, and he has it I don't know if he's put it on his channel but he's having problems logging into 411 because some people don't know how to um, make those channels work so I've sent him some videos on how to get logged into two channels and switch between the two it took me a minute to figure it out so I mean it's, it's you, you guys can you can have more than one YouTube channel and if you're on your cell phone it gives you the capability to swap between the two I tried to find some instructional videos because if you've never done it before it can be confusing and I had to figure it out myself I know it was possible I just had never done it until you know I had other channels but I was doing it from my computer I didn't ever do it from my cell phone so I had to figure it out so I sent him some videos so hopefully he'll get a chance to look at those and when he gets his time because he also is going to school he'll get his video up on this as well so I apologize for that but he has done the video now for me I'm doing mine today so our topic today is um, basically top and I try to make this a fun topic um, because I want to kind of I want to break it up you know kind of fun kind of light and then we got a topic that D-Boy Stans brought up at the end of the video she did regarding why truckers basically get out here. They say they want a better life, but they don't do anything to do anything about it. So uh, there's a topic in there that she mentioned, and I don't, I haven't told her what it is, but I loved it. And I was listening to it, I'm like, oh, that's a good topic. So I'm gonna, we're going to be doing that too, but I'll bring that up later. That'll be our next topic, I think. And I don't think she realized it, but I heard a good topic in that, in, that, in her discussion. Um... So this one is top five or ten things, mine might be more than ten, that you feel you must get for your truck uh, when you have your truck. So I took pictures of most of mine, and I'll be putting them up and talking about them. So right now, just off the top of my head, and I'll try to break this up. Number one, trucker GPS. Oh my God. Oh my God, when I first started in trucking, I had, I can't remember the name of it, some little hole in the wall company, because I couldn't afford the Rand back then, and Rand was really the best one they had out back then. Um, I can't remember the name of that damn GPS. I got a trucker GPS, it was cheaper than the Rand, it did okay, and that was when I first started out in trucking, wasn't making that much money. And I got that, and that helped me out so much. God bless the old school truckers who did maps and phone calls and all that. And please, don't get it twisted. I still do use the maps. Okay, and we'll talk about that. But I have the Garmin GPS. It's one of the pictures you're going to see. And the Garmin GPS is your friend. I'm also going to be buying a Rand. But I'm only going to buy the little tiny Rand. One reason I'm not buying, putting all that money into the big Rand. Rand McNally, um, from what I'm seeing from a lot of truckers, they've had to return it a lot for warranty issues so it has a lot of technical problems it doesn't last it long it goes out the first Rand McNally's they had those bad boys were the bomb okay they were phenomenal phenomenal and um but I went with the Garmin now don't get me wrong Rand I'm not talking about Rand's mapping system I'm talking about the device just going out on people stop working they got this new magnet thing and it just falls down whole bunch of problems with it so you guys can research that I went with the Garmin I like the Garmin there's things about the Garmin I like I like the voice activation part um, there's things I don't like I don't like the fact that it doesn't tell you what city you're in whereas the, the Rand McNally when you got to a city it would tell you what city you were in it will tell you when you're getting ready to hit a state border but it doesn't really tell you what state you're in what city you're in which I liked with the Rand the Rand did that um, the Garmin does, the bigger Garmin, there's one Garmin that comes with a dash cam. I wish I would have went ahead and got that because I will be buying a dash cam. So that's something that is coming in the near future because my company does not have dash, uh, does not have cameras on the truck, inside or outside. I'm happy about the inside cameras, but I do believe in today's world it's good to have an outside camera for your own protection. Um, as a trucker. Let's see what else. What else? organizer so behind my seat I have a seat organizer I took a picture of that it holds pins on the sides on both sides it holds books and so forth so seat organizer that's one of my other items I would have I'm not rating them as far as ranking if y'all want to do that y'all can the people on here but 
the seat organizer. That was one of the ones things that I knew I was going to get. Shower bag. You need shower bag and shower shoes. I forgot to take pictures of shower shoes. Shower shoes can be anything like flip flops or slide ins that can be in a wet area. You don't want to get feet stuff from somebody up in here, okay, in these showers, because you are using a shower. And honestly, the truck stops say they clean after every shower, but I've gone in the, in the, in the showers where you still see the poop stains in the toilet, where they didn't clean the inside the toilet. So if they're not cleaning the inside the toilet, they didn't wipe the toilet down either. Um, I forgot to tell y'all, y'all might want to have Lysol. I'm just saying. Um... Let's see here. The Porta John and trash can bucket with the top and y'all the luggable Lou. I found out about from another the top. I was just using a regular extra toilet seat. Honestly, I was. You can do that or buy yourself a Porta John. Okay? If you want to have two things on here, I like it because it serves two purposes. And I keep disinfectant, so if you gotta go, you gotta go. Please stop and go to the bathroom. Don't use that all the time. It's just an emergency cases or when you're out. For ladies at night, you do use it. I don't get out the truck. If you no, don't get out the truck unless you're teaming and you got a husband or a teammate. But if you're not teaming and you're single, I, and if it's two women on it, I just really don't let ladies. I just don't suggest you get out the truck. Um, I have never had an issue, but that's because I'm I'm kind of I always watch myself anyway, and I take the necessary precautions. Okay, so Porta John or you can do the trash can bucket, the paint bucket with the luggable loo. Luggable loo is like 13 bucks at Walmart. Which is a toilet seat. I showed y'all pictures in a previous video. I'll try to put a, find a picture and put it up here. Um, oh, so the bed. Let me finish with the bed. So for the bed, um, I use, I went and got the crate and I got a memory, kind of a memory foam thing. Walmart had the memory foam thing for $39 for the twin, and the crate was $10, 10 or 12 bucks. So I have both of those on there, and then I got a bed bug proof cover. Uh, the bed bug proof cover was 20, 20, 20, 30 bucks. So all together, I might have put maybe plus 60, 70 bucks in there. But your sleep is important for rest, and it has made a world of difference in how I'm sleeping in that bed. Much more comfortable. Um, get some good blankets the uh, reason I say that is because if something happens to the truck you need that um, you may even want to get I used to have a plug-in heater blanket that you plugged in to the 12 volt and it would warm up in case in the winter months you know if anything happened with the truck being warm my truck does not have a bunk heater unfortunately so um, that's one thing I did do um, what else was I gonna tell you? your bed oh my god your bed so the bed, the mattress on trucks are not usually the best mattresses unless you're investing in them. And most of the trucking companies are going to give you a piece of crap mattresses. Now, this was a brand new truck that came with two mattresses. I do have a mattress on top. Your bed on top is shorter. So sometimes you can take the two mattresses and put them together, but it's not the same size. The top bunk is not the same width and or length as the bottom one, okay? And I tell this story for a reason because... What I do is I took, like I took the old mattress from that bed, from the previous bed, and I took the new mattress that I got when I was at my last company, and I got a bed bug proof cover and put on there. And I did the same thing here, because I do go to hotels or I stay at families, and you can, I have a friend of mine who picked up bed bugs from a sister. I said, sister came to the house and brought bed bugs, or no, the, 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 the nephews, great nephews he, he watches, um, ended up, you know, just, you know, it's just a true story, it can happen to anybody. Um, she got bed bugs from a neighbor, and they translated it to his nephews and it translated to his house so even if I stay with family or friends I tend to always take precautions because I'm trying not to have it on the truck so I'm really big even lot while doing your laundry at the truck stop or even at your terminal you could pick them up from laundry facilities I mean it's it's it's, it's a problem in America today so I'm very I'm, I'm not a bug person when it comes to certain types of bugs that's number one and there's precautions. That's why I use the alcohol and I spray my bed down. Um, 
I actually do a dust in the truck and around the bedding. It's uh, called Diatomaceous Earth. Um, I use that in the truck. Uh, when I first got in this truck, even though it was brand new, I put it down because it's a preventative. Um, I didn't take pictures of the rugs, but I already told you guys. Tell you guys. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I also have this thing right here, which I have a picture of. It's called Vaults. You see that? And I show you pictures where it's open. Why the reason I got that is I lost a I took a hit on a receipt when I was working at my last company for a trailer washout because the receipt was so I, I threw it in the seat and it got wet and it distorted and they, they couldn't pay me because it couldn't read legible. So I actually ended up paying for the washout. So that holds my papers. It's, it's, it's something to write on, and I'm not worried about stuff, papers getting lost. So as soon as I get back in the truck, open it up, and I show the papers in there. Show the receipts in there. And then I also have another organized. Organizer where I organize by month. And um, I organize by month. It's, gosh, let me pull it out. It's this thing right here. And... It's not, it's ain't expensive, but I don't even know if I paid three to five bucks. But y'all see, I put all the months, and it comes with the months. And then I put my paperwork in there by months. And the reason that's, that's the, uh, it's the receipts, it's the bill of ladings, all of that's in here. So if there's ever any question, or they say, oh, we didn't get a scan of X, Y, or Z, go back to this. Because that is also your pay. That's your proof that you deliver, and it's your pay. I'll put it back later. Um... That oh books. So there's gonna be three books I'm gonna put on here. One of the books that I have obviously is a road atlas guide. Get you one. Oftentimes, people, the Road Atlas Guide, if you want to save money, buy the previous year. And you can get the big one nice for cheap. If you come at the right time of the year, like when the, when the new year starts, right before the year changes, they'll have a whole bunch of last years. They cut them prices down to less than half. So where you have one that might have been 50 or 60 for the laminated, it's going to end up being like 20, 20 bucks. 12 bucks. 30. I had one for $12. I had one for like 20 bucks, the laminated one. That big one, I have the big one. I'm going to show you in a picture. I got that. The other one is their truck stop guides. And while it's old school because a lot of people use the Trucker Path app, or I can do truck stops on here, on the Garmin, it doesn't list every last truck stop. It does list a lot, quite a few, but it has some it doesn't know about. And they're still updating their system, okay? So your, your GPS may have quite a few. But there's truck stops opening all the time so forth. These two guides that I have, I have one is a little truck stop guide and one is a large one. The large one tells you all the amenities that the truck stop has. It also gives you a map and showing you a map of the state with the dots on it for the different truck stops. It puts the truck stops in alphabetical order and then you can go see what amenities it has. Does it have laundry? Does it have shower? Um, does it have a large parking? Does it have a small parking? Um, that's the large one I have, and I use that sometimes because if I can't put it on Trucker, sometimes I find stuff in that guide that I don't find on Trucker Path. So if I'm trying to plan out my trip, I can plan where I'm going to stop and if I have services that I need. Okay? Now I have the little one, which used to be my old school method. Let me see. Let's see if I pull it up. This one right here used to be my old school method. I learned this from my Werner trainer, female trainer. And this one, y'all can see. If y'all can see that. It also gives you different truck stops, but what it does, it gives you the exit, and then it tells you the size, and it also includes rest areas. Um, so you could be on I-90, and it's telling you mile marker 5 or exit 5, and this is Montana, Salt to Sea, has Dina Morris rest area, rest. Um, the next one would be mile marker 16, exit 16, Hagen or Hagen, whatever, Lincoln Silver Dollar, Exxon, medium size lot. So it gives you an idea, and then in the front of the book, um, let's see here. 
in the front of the book it tells you what it means so like it has little symbols dollar sign means charge to park F is for fuel only very limited no parking S is not parking small parking 15 to 29 trucks medium medium parking is 30 to 60 trucks large um, parking 60 plus trucks W is way scale so that parking usually has some of the way scales R is from a large R is major uh, repairs are available small R means minor repairs like tires stuff like that and then asterisk means see other roads or highways within the area for this same town so it I, I use this too this uh, guide is phenomenal when you need to research stuff so I still use a lot of old some old school methods so I use things tools that and I, when I got to the truck the first thing I bought was the Atlas when I came back to trucking the Atlas these this guide I'll get you see a picture of it and another big truck stop guide so those are the first ones I actually bought again I'm gonna put pictures up I was gonna break it up but I think I'm just gonna put the pictures at the end and y'all can see the pictures of the stuff that I have and if you have questions put them below I'll tell you more about them I have no problem but my big one was the GPS that was huge road atlas guide um shower bags shower shoes I didn't take pictures of shower shoes shower shoes get your bed straight because you need to sleep you want that comfortable um I'll probably go through my we I might do a thing on organization because D-Boy stands that damn I didn't do my microwave like that because I do have a microwave slot but that microwave thing, girl, that was genius. <laughs> yo, 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 your trainer who did that? Yeah, they did crap. That genius. So anyway, that's some of the stuff. Um, one thing that I have recently got because I was starting to get calluses and they're still turning to cover, they're starting to go down. Um, is I went and got some driving gloves, which I had driving gloves when I was here on trucking before because same thing happened. And it's because you hold I hold my steering wheel tight sometimes, especially in your bad roads. Or sometimes you you know when you're trying to spin and trying to back into a tight spot, um, winds, high winds. Oh my Lord Jesus, you holding it. Um, you know right now I'm doing a drive in and Lord knows I don't know what's in this trailer, but it's bobtailing all, it's bouncing all over the hell place. I I ain't even looked. I I, I mean I saw it. It's something. It's not anything major. It's going. What is it? This? something to do with lighting something to do with copper and lighting so those are things critical also uh, have some food on the truck and some water and I, and I say that and you go to Walmart get two cases I put them in my side box the water I just threw some on here and then you need some organizational system if you're a solo driver I use the top bunk a lot for my organization if you are a trainer and underneath your bunk and then you're gonna not be able to have as much stuff because you got to be prepared for a student to have fun d-boy stands been there done that um but you gonna make money you will make money with a student on there and you kind of give back it just really you're young enough to where you kind of will have that patience to do that so God bless. She's gonna be a trainer. She's a trainer. She's got just got certified through Prime Training. So congratulations. And it's a good thing to do. I did it, and it's a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, you're giving back. I don't know if I can do that now. I gotta really pray. It really would have to be depend on. The, I like training, but it depends on the training system of the company. I won't. I don't want to be part of a of a shoddy training system. That yeah. Anyway, y'all, I'm getting ready to run here and get a shower. Grab me some breakfast, and then I'm, I'll be in Oklahoma tonight. Um, Y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to put this video up soon, too, and two. All right, two last-minute things I forgot to include. Bluetooth. Bluetooth was one. I got the uh, Blue Parrot. There's others. Um, I got, you know, I got a couple different ones. Um, I got the stereo one and I got the single ear one. And then also a safety vest. And Bill gave me my safety vest, but I was going to pick one up. Because there are some places you go, that's one. So you need to have that on your truck ready to go. Because they sometimes will be funky about you, do, you having no safety vest. 
Some of them will let you use the safety vest, but God knows if the other trucker was clean or not. Others, you may have to go pick one up and come back to the shipper or whatever.